show off. It's uh, it's pretty tight. It's pretty tight. Uh, yeah. So it's like the whole. It's like the whole team. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Whole team. You got Dougie up in the corner there. I was like, that doesn't yeah. look like the whole team. That's not fifty-two players. Uh, well, I mean, it's it's you know the, the important <laughs> ones. It's the important ones. You're cutting some dude short, man. <clears throat> Oh, that's well. That's all right. They still have a ring, so you know. <laughs> true, true. Well, yeah, I figured to just kind of get back to it because I didn't do any of these last season. It's been so long since the season ended, so I had to like kind of like forgot everything that happened. But uh, yeah, I but I'm not gonna like. Go, yeah, I like I look, I took a brief look at the at the site to at, like last season, like at the last week or so to kind of get a vibe because it's been so long. But uh, I figured we keep these short, like just like, a couple of minutes. I'm not gonna do like the whole like those used to be like 20 minutes long. But I'm going to do like a bunch of these, hopefully, leading up to the season. So, fun. We got to start with the champ. The champ is here. I, took, I did take a quick peek. Uh, it, was, uh, it was Tish, right, in the finals? It was. You beat Tish in the finals, which thank God, uh, because we wouldn't have a champion interview if Tish had won. Um, but I wouldn't have it to send in the belt either, so that'd be kind of nice. But, uh, yeah, the champ is here. And uh, I, I did take a quick peek at the championship uh matchup just to remind myself because it's been so long uh so you kind of wrote jalen hurts dalvin cook and stefan diggs and george kittle who i kind of i think well, from what i remember a pretty up and down season but those big three like solid quarterback running back wide receiver combo you just go but i think the secret sauce the x factor that i did what i had forgotten about was amon ross st brown which i think was was probably the arguably the league winner like the one player not only in our league, but I think if you, if I don't, I didn't do this, but I'm sure if you did look like ESPN wide, like the last, what, five weeks or so, four or five weeks, that he was just on a freaking tear yeah. and like lit it up like 20 plus points the last four weeks. It's whatever insane shit he did. And uh, I think that was a league winner. So that was a, that was a huge pickup. I forgot you had done that one. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was him. And then I think subbing in Boston Scott too. Oh God. Um, Boston. Was, I forgot kind of about Boston roll. Scott. It was a huge dice roll at the end there. And he went, he went off um, on the final, on the final uh, game. Yeah. I was like, well, good luck figuring out the Eagles backfield moving forward. It's like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, look at theirs. And then like, obviously the dolphins have signed five different running backs this off season and no one knows what the hell is going on. So good luck with that shit. But uh, what I did not look at, and maybe, I don't know if you've looked at it already either, because we're so, like, just in the middle of nowhere as far as the schedule goes, of, uh, what your keepers are going to be, because mm -hmm. I have, I, I didn't look at the, uh, at the draft spreadsheet or what everyone's eligible as, but have you, have you started to give it a thought, or has it just, like, we're just so far away that you're not even worrying uh, about it? We're still kind of far away. I, um, I have been thinking, I have been thinking of keeping, uh, St. Brown. Um, but I know the Lions did draft a, a receiver with their first pick this year in the draft. Um, so, you know, it, it's, it's kind of a dice roll. I had kept Chris Carson for years and years, but he's not eligible yeah, anymore. Not anymore. But I don't think I would want to keep him anyway. I think, I, I think his time in Seattle is done at this point. Um, and I think there's a good chance. Maybe, maybe I will keep my, my guy Jalen who, I mean, <laughs> arguably is you know the reason that my season went so well um, yeah I mean, fantasy wise i mean he's he's like one of those way better fantasy quarterbacks probably than real life quarterbacks like probably well you're an eagles fan so i mean like watching the no, game he probably he probably gives you like three heart attacks every sunday but at least you know fantasy wise because the rushing like just having the rushing is just a high floor that uh you know he's gonna be like one of the best fantasy quarterbacks at least so when did you draft hurts do you remember what round was he uh, I think he came in like the fifth or the sixth round. I've got the board pulled up actually. Okay, so you could get like a you could get like a year depending if it's five or six, a year or two, keeping him, which I think round would, eight. Eight. Oh my god! So that, you can get a couple out of that. Okay, so yeah. it could be a seven, then a fifth, and then you wouldn't be able to. Mm -hmm. It'd be a second at that mm -hmm. point. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, that's a couple. I mean, if he's if he's gonna keep up the rushing, and then they and then you guys drafted. Didn't you draft a receiver as well? Who did you draft? Uh, Why am I blanking? No, on? we didn't. We didn't. If we did, it was later. Um, I mean, we we of course we of course brought in AJ Brown. Oh, oh, that's that's what it was. I was like, because you had our pick, you had our pick, and I think yeah. that was the I think that was the yeah AJ I'll complete yeah. That's what I was like. That's why I thought I was like, you got a receiver. Who did you get? AJ Brown. Holy shit. Okay, well, yeah. he's not gonna have many excuses now. So second year Devonta Smith, and then AJ Brown, and then whoever the hell's in the backfield doesn't really matter. I guess who your running backs are when it's Jalen Hurts, he's so. your quarterback. 
I mean, I think I think the only questions that we have going into this season are our quarterback, our coach, and our safety. Honestly, <laughs> I mean, everybody else like is solid. I mean, yeah, we don't really know who our running back's going to be, but any given week, any of them could go off. Yeah, it doesn't really. When you have a mobile a mobile quarterback, makes any running back look really good. So. <clears throat> It's not really going to matter, probably. So, what for, from a real life NFL Philadelphia Eagles perspective? How are you feeling about this couple of coming season? What are your expectations? When what's your floor ceiling for for the Eagles? I think I think I think we have a very good shot of winning the East this year. Um, I mean, the Cowboys are really the only other team that could compete against us, and I. One, we have a very easy schedule this season. Um, it's it's all teams who finished. I think I think a majority of them finished under 500 last season. Um, and uh, I mean, we've tooled up, up so much on defense. And I mean, like between Jordan, like Jordan Davis, Nicobe Dean, like they're going to come in and immediately be game changers for us. And we picked up Bradbury, too, from the Giants, like, and, you know, opposite of Slay. So. I mean, I think our defense is going to be one of the best defenses in the league this this year. In the league, that is bold. Yeah, yeah, that is bold. I, okay. I don't think I don't think that's that's a stretch. Honestly. So you're saying expectations win the East ceiling? Are you thinking Super Bowl? Or are you thinking like okay, maybe we make the you know NFC Conference Championship or something like that? Like, are, are you are you are you are you putting that up there? I think it all depends on Hurts. You know. Oh yeah, like, well your quarterback, think, of course. I think I think. Uh, how far we go is just going to be dependent on him because like, you know, how he's put all the right players around him for, for the offense um, and our defense, you know, like I just said, is like totally stacked. But so I think, I think we can, <laughs> I think minimum expectations is win at least one playoff game. Right. Okay. Like, yeah. You know, if we don't make the, if we, if we don't win the NFC East, which I think is very unlikely, um, I, I think at least winning one playoff game is like, that would be, that would be an acceptable, uh, I mean, th that's like setting the bar, but, <laughs> right. um, I, you know, obviously I would love for us to go all the way, but especially, especially since it's probably Kelsey's last season, like I would love to see him, you know, go out, go out on top. Yeah. Um, it's, it's hard not to like that guy. Like yeah. it's hard not to like him. Like he's just a good dude. Um, that's all right. Well, I guess other than that, well, how's like real life going? How's everything up there? You're DC still, right? So yeah. how are things going? Yeah. 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 Things are, things are good. Um, yeah, heading to Denver next week. I'm sorry that we can't get to. Yeah, that sucks. Bad time. Working Tuesday through Friday, I can't get up there yeah, on a on yeah. a weekday. That sucks. Yeah, 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 and it sucks that we're going to be going up into the mountains later. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's it's 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 been like a lot of travel. Um, the house has been you know work and all that sort of stuff. But um, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, I and I'm bummed I can't make the draft this year either. Um, because I would have totally suggested it be here in DC this year, but. Um, yeah, I'm going to be, I'm going to be traveling with my folks. So, yeah, it sounds like a lot of people are probably not going to make it, but it sounds like at least Oscar and I are flying in and we'll be there. He's like, <laughs> at the very least, maybe Brian will drive up too. So it'll be like the three of us there <laughs> drafting together. I was yeah, like, well, he yeah, said he's going to go. And I was like, you know what? I'll be there. If no one else is there, I'll be there. So whatever. <laughs> I'll, I'll dial in. I, uh, I, so, so I'm, I'm going to be on a cruise with my parents. That's why I can't, I can't. For the draft. How are you going to draft from a cruise? It's got Wi-Fi, apparently. <laughs> oh so, uh, <laughs> first ever cruise draft. Okay, interesting. Yeah, yeah. so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be dialing in um, somewhere off the uh, west coast of the United States. So. <laughs> that is kind of awesome. I'm looking forward to you being like on the deck with a pina colada, <laughs> like sunglasses <laughs> on, but with a laptop and like a bunch of sheets of paper. <laughs> like, shut up! I'm drafting. And like, obviously, everyone will know what's going on, and that'd be that'd be hilarious. So, cruise yeah, draft. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should all do that. We should all just go on a cruise one one year and just draft from the cruise. Yo, that would be, that would be good <laughs> I was like, I'm joking about it, but as I say it, I was like, that'd be actually super dope. Because imagine like 12 people on a cruise. We just take over like the buffet or some buffet area and we're just drafting on a cruise. That'd be I really awesome. I like this idea. I think we're on <laughs> Okay. Well, when we post this on we post this on YouTube and put it on uh, in the group in the group thread, we'll see what people say about a cruise draft. Cruise draft. <laughs> cruise draft. Cruise draft. It's better better than uh what was what was Paul throwing? Like Montana Ranch draft? No, cruise draft is better. And like it was like Scandinavia or something like that. It was like uh, Poland, it was Warsaw, 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 Warsaw right? Yeah, Warsaw draft. Like no, was, I'll do a cruise draft before I do either of those. Uh, well, I think it was Warsaw Ranch draft because we yeah. still haven't done ranch draft yet either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not flying to Warsaw. I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> I'm not going to Poland. Not for that. No. Uh, always Warsaw, Indiana. 
<laughs> I think a cruise draft beats both of those ideas, in my opinion. That's what I would vote for. I think Warsaw, Indiana is like the capital of like the medical device industry. So like, you know, there's Okay. Well if someone needs like, you know, one of those fake hearts or something, you know what I mean? Like we can hip, hip implants. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> who's like who's the older? Who's like the most injury? Lulu. Lulu probably needs like some <laughs> like carbon fiber internals or something like that. She's always injured. <laughs> Oh, good times though. Well, unfortunately, what you, we, you, I would say usually, we, I don't think we've been able to have the official passing of the belt at the draft. Like, I think the last two years, someone's always been missing. Like, I had to mail it to Jesse. He had to mail it to somebody else before that. So, he, Jesse has it right now, if I'm not mistaken. So, we, he'll have to, we, we got to coordinate and have him send it to you uh, somewhere around draft time. And then uh, you'll be holding the belt. So how does it feel to be the reigning champion? Does, does, it, does it even phase you? Or are you coming in with, like, so we established the Eagles' expectations. What are your fantasy expectations for yourself, for your team coming up? It is to win every single season, Vargas. That is, <laughs> that, those are my expectations. But I will say it was quite a surprise to win this past season. Um, I, I mean, I mean the, the, game, the semifinal matchup against Keaton, where it was down to, like, the wire, and it was it came down to the Eagles defense that night and they had a sack, I think, in like garbage time. And that's what put me over. It was I mean, it was like neat, like pins and needles. Yeah, uh, I thought I thought Keaton was going to have a run there. I was really surprised and I was very, very excited uh, to just basically just to talk shit to Nashad and, and Tish mostly. I was like with you, it's like, yeah, it's fine, but like be friendly but to those two. It's just it's really fun to talk shit to those two, especially. Uh, but yeah, the playoffs were like crazy, crazy tight between you four. So that yeah, the semifinals was definitely close and then uh maybe yeah, the finals obviously kind of just came away with it with with those four big players that we talked about earlier yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I will say something though um i am still open to drafting i feel like I, I i sorry trading my draft picks i feel like the uh draft last year kind of has made everybody a little bit uh, uh well actually i think i've how can I say this? I, I think, I think, uh, shit, I've totally lost it. Can you edit this part out? <laughs> I, I say I could, but I won't because that's oh, more work. No. So I'm just going to, we we just do these in one shots because I am lazy. Uh, well, anyway, as I, fumble <laughs> over my words. I was like, so, um, yeah, so you're putting on the table that all, that every single one of your draft picks is for sale, probably yeah. with the exception of the Jalen Hurts keeper pick. Yeah. Which would be what presumably what a seventh rounder. Though? What I was getting at, though, is Paul won the Miles Sanders trade. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Like, 100%. 100%. So, like, what I'm saying is, like, on paper, or, like, you know, on paper at the beginning of the season, it may not have looked very, I don't know, I thought it was an even trade. but I thought it was but fine. It was Tish was the only one bitching because it was like, well, one person got three keepers. And it's like, well, how do you get three keepers? And it's like, well, it wasn't that he was trading the player. It was he's trading his keeper slot, which is how, basically... Anything that makes the league more fun, we're going to go for it. That made it more fun. That trade was more fun. And I, if I had to do that, so I had to do the mental gymnastics after the fact to make it make sense. And that's fine. <laughs> but it actually does make sense. I, like I had to make it make sense, but it actually does make sense the way we explained it. So that's, that rule will remain. But Kid is putting it on the table that all of his draft picks are available for trade. And he's open to trading because trading is more fun. It is more fun. We had like three or four draft trades uh, during the draft also. Like you guys were on there and then paul and i had one that came out in the wash in the wash lavisca for philip Lindsay, which yeah. i guess you could say lavisca is better but like nothing happened with that yeah. <laughs> somehow he's yeah. somehow he's still getting buried on the jags depth chart so i mean trading is more fun so kids putting it out there draft picks are available for trades um and keepers are due what did i i forget what i usually say a month before the draft or something like that mm. or two weeks before the draft at least so i can put everything together and uh we can at least have something set but we're is still, month or is it two weeks, Vargas? We're still, I forget, it's in the Constitution. I forget what it is. All right. It's been, I haven't looked at it in a while. It's bidding in June. We still have like basically a month and a half, almost two yeah. months yeah. until the draft. Basically, when you do, when, when you pay your dues, you tell me your keepers. That's kind of how it works. Um, and some of these are no brainers. I think only a couple people will have like difficult decisions, like Paul, who's got like Josh Allen and Darren Waller and, Debo. and Debo. Yeah. That was, I was like, he's got one more who's like really good. It was a Debo. So he's like, like, yeah. One of the very few who actually has a hard decision. Everyone else is going to like just flip flop on like a stupid decision, but really there's the obvious ones. So, um, but yeah, that's it. Anyway, man, uh, let's see. We've been going, eh, it's just about 15 minutes. So I think it's pretty good. I mean, I'll, I'm going to try to catch up with a couple more people 
I'll grab. Well, I was gonna say I'll grab who you beat in the championship, but there's no chance I get Tish. So <laughs> I'll try to grab a couple other people before. I'm sad we're not gonna see you at the draft, but um, yeah. we've planted two great ideas in this video. Number one, all your draft picks are for trade, are available for trade, so that can lead to some exciting exchanges. I'm excited to see what happens there, and to color code my entire draft board because you've traded so much. And cruise draft. I think I think I think we're onto something here. Cruise we're draft. So I think it's probably a little more expensive because you got to fly in and then do the cruise and then fly out, but has the potential to be an all-timer. So yeah. that's good. Yeah. And I'll say lastly, too, I think uh, the championship this year settled the East versus West debate. Really? How so? Yeah. 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 Explain. Uh, I mean, Explain, I mean, sir. Oh, <laughs> like, is this like East Coast versus West Coast? Is this like East or the divisions, East versus West? Divisions, what you, yeah. The divisions. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was like, we did just so, we did uh, I did shuffle divisions. What was it last year or a year and a half? Whatever we shuffled did them. You? I think I moved myself over. Oh. We swapped two people in the divisions because like there had been so lopsided for so long, and I think myself and like Randy swapped or me and Keen or something. When Lulu came in, and then you guys. Oh, I don't remember. Swapped. I just I remember I remember swapping teams because someone was like, "Oh, the the divisions are so lopsided." Because it was like, I think it was a year or two years ago where it was like, if we went by record, every team in one division would have made it, and only one team in the other would have made it. But because mm -hmm. of the way the seating works, you know, different people make it. I think yeah. we swapped me and it was either me and Randy or me and Kevin that we swapped divisions and whatever. Either way, we did a we did a division realignment a year ago or two years ago and. It seems to be pretty easy. I mean, pretty even. I think everyone's good at this point too. It's like, uh, so it's like I don't, I don't know how much of a advantage you're gonna get now. I mean, you had freaking me and Randy in the toilet bowl this past year, so it's like, what are you gonna do? You know? How did you feel? I, like right at the end, <laughs> I was. You must have been sweating. I was. Here's here's. The, like, I was so nervous. I was yeah. so nervous for the toilet bowl. I really, really was. I was like after the first, even after the first week, I had like a pretty good lead coming out of the first week. I was like, okay, I have like I'm like breathing a little easier. But I was like, thank God that all of my like sports bets, like all my football bets, are winning because I'm buying out of this video. <laughs> like, like I, for, I went for a stretch of like a month where every day I was like workshopping different songs and I was always already coming with ideas. And then I'd go for a week where I'm like, I'm not doing this. I'm buying out. F this. I'll pay it. I don't care. And then I go a week where I was like really excited about. It. So I was I was like on a roller coaster of like really excited. I was like I'm gonna go all out for this video. I'm gonna live up to Brian's. It's gonna be a good follow up. And then I'd hit the dumpster where I'd be like I'd be like no, I want a bunch of bets this week. I'm paying out. I'm not wasting my time on this. And then I'd come back up and be like oh this would be a good song. So like I went up and down, up and down, up and down. But thank God I I, I was extremely relieved when that score went final. And I was like oh, <laughs> I was like I I feel bad, Randy. This is you know Randy's the first repeat. You know, video, he had the first one, uh, the yeah. Super Saiyan. But this will be his first music video. You know, the first video was a Super Saiyan video. And then we made the music video rule. So this will be Randy's first music video. Um, and, speak, and speaking of bars, I mean, Brian has set the bar so high. Yeah, sabotage. Brian's sabotage was, was incredible. Which is another thing. is like, I didn't want to have to follow that up. So, but I mean, yeah. I don't know. I think I just, I'm very, very thankful that I don't have to. Um, and knowing me, I wouldn't have even started by now. So even if I had lost, which would have made it horrible. Uh, so hopefully Randy has started. I don't know if he has or not. I haven't spoken to him, but, uh, hopefully yeah. I'll talk to him here soon. Yeah. I'm looking at, uh, I'm looking at, at your, your two weeks, week 16 and 17. Oh yeah. I haven't even looked at it recently. It was, oh, it looked like it was over after, after week one. Cause Randy posted like 65. Oh, and you okay. 111. Okay. So yeah, so, so it was safe after the first day. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's just it's fantasy, man. You never freaking know. Uh, yeah. you never freaking know. So it's like, yeah, but I was very, very nervous going into the toilet bowl. Because it's not only is like, oh my god, I lost the league after making a music video, but then I gotta be like, oh my god, I lost to Randy. Like, <laughs> of all people who doesn't follow football, who doesn't have a favorite team, who like drafts like FSU players, and like you know what I mean? He's just like I was like, oh god, I'm gonna lose to Randy. I'm gonna lose the league and it's gonna be losing to Randy. Like it's not ugh. That would have been like the end of it I, no, you're right. I wouldn't. I would. I would quit the league and delete everything. <laughs> like I just delete. It. It's like somebody else commissioner. We, 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 uh, we really appreciate your the job that you do as a commissioner. As oh, a, I appreciate that. As, well, yeah. Uh, at least yeah. we don't have a Boston Red Sox situation yeah. where two of you are yeah. slapping each other randomly yeah. over like an IR slot or whatever that argument was about, and they started dragging Mike Trout, who's like the commissioner of that league. He's like he's garbage, and I was like Jesus Christ, like what are people doing? 
to be a bad I don't even understand. It's like, what do you do to be a shit commissioner? You just fucking make the rules and you don't have to, you don't have to, you don't have to do anything. Like you don't have to do anything. So I, I was reading about it. It was a, um, it was a disagreement over the IR slot. <laughs> that's what the disagreement was about like somebody had stashed a player on the, their ir slot and uh tommy fam didn't appreciate that um, oh it's part of the rules get over it yeah 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 and so he slapped him like yeah little smack I, I did i did make the list of everything though of all the rules changes we're doing which i forgot if we decided on i think we're slashing the bench spot is what we're doing this year i think I don't know if we, we yeah, yeah, I don't remember, I don't remember if we decided to add an IR or not, but I know we slashed a bench spot for the upcoming yeah. season. I know that. So, and half I'm point, big, and half point PPR. Fan of the chaos bench of only having one bench player. <laughs> That's oh the the Paul just Paul just you only oh or, or I think he went to the you only play one player every week. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> like, like Paul just wants to watch the world burn. He just doesn't care. He just wants everything in the air so he can play Josh Allen and win every week. <laughs> oh, man. All right, man. We're going to get out of here. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for taking the time. Appreciate it. Congratulations again. Champion. We'll be, I was like, I wish you did have the belt so you can like actually have it for this, but we'll have to coordinate with Jesse and get it to you here soon. So yeah. uh, take it easy, buddy, and uh, have fun on the cruise, and yeah. we'll see you, uh, you know, sipping a pina colada, drafting whatever you can. Hopefully, hopefully you can. <laughs> So. I think it'll be like 8 a.m. my time, but you know what? I'm, I'm <laughs> we'll make it work. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Take it easy, man. All right. See ya. See ya.